experiencing dryness in prayer, we can help with that. Recently after Mass, one of my parishioners came up to me and, and he said, Father Josh, I'm really struggling. I, I'm experiencing so much dryness in prayer. And my, my first question to him was, well, what sins have you been committing? Um, and, and I said that jokingly, but uh, slightly serious because typically there's four reasons why we might be experiencing dryness in our prayer. Uh, the first reason uh, is because of our sin, right? Because we have chosen to do other things, we turn away from God, and until we repent, we're not opening ourselves up to the grace that God has in store for us in our walk toward eternity. Another reason why we might be experiencing dryness in prayer it's because we're sick, because we're, we're tired, we're, we're exhausted. Like right now, I'm, I'm sick, so I don't know if you can see my hands or not, um, but uh, I thought I had the flu, but turns out I, I have hand, foot, mouth, something. So sickness can be another reason why we're experiencing dryness in prayer for natural reasons. Another reason can be because God is simply purifying us. God is stripping us of being able to perceive his presence, and he's doing a lot that we can't even see. But another reason, the fourth reason why we could be experiencing dryness in prayer is because we are praying, but not in the way that God wants us to pray in that season of our lives. When I first had my conversion, I really enjoyed praise and worship music. I really enjoyed to, to, to pray with that. And, uh, and, and that worked for a season and it was able to be used by God to draw me and to focus my attention on the Lord. I was a very virtuous man outside of prayer. Uh, but then there came a season where I kept listening to praise and worship music during my prayer time and I wasn't growing in holiness anymore. I wasn't growing in virtue anymore um, and I wasn't able to be attentive to the face of God. That's because I was being invited by the Spirit of God to pray in a new way and I was resisting that new way. This can happen to many of us. We can be stuck on praying the way we want to pray and not be open to praying the way that, that God wants us to pray. In my new book, Pocket Guide to Adoration, I go into detail about this topic, about prayer, about dryness, and about how we can discern with God's grace how the Lord is inviting us to spend our time in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament. Um, there's, there's different models of prayer. There's meditative models, and there's other models that are more based in contemplation. Whenever we're in a season of contemplation, we're really drawn to simply just gaze at the face of Jesus as Jesus looks at our face. Whenever we're drawn to the more meditative experiences of prayer, we're really focused on speaking to God and trying to discern God's will and listen to God and chew on God's word. If we try to contemplate, that is sit in the presence of God and gaze on his face, when the spirit of God is drawing us to a season of meditation, we're gonna experience dryness. We're gonna probably experience distractions even because we're not doing what the Spirit is inviting us to do. If we are trying to meditate whenever God is calling us to simply be in His presence, we're probably gonna experience dryness and or distractions. So the way we discern how we're called to pray is by paying attention to where am I experiencing the most interior peace and able to be attentive to the face of God and also outside of prayer, how am I growing in virtue in this season of my life? Right? Since I've been practicing this model of prayer before the Blessed Sacrament, a devotional prayer like the Rosary, our praise music, our scripture, our simply sitting in His presence, not only how much interior peace am I experiencing, but what are the fruits, the virtues that I see in my life and my relationships with other people whom I'm walking with toward eternity? Um, if you want to learn more about ways in which you can grow in the interior life in your relationship with Jesus Christ in the liturgical action of Eucharistic Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, then I want to invite you to buy my book, Pocket Guide to Adoration, which is available now at ascensionpress.com and on amazon.com as well. From all of us here at Ascension Presents, I'm Father Josh. God bless.